Now, your 13 First Alert weather forecast. Well, it's been a rather soggy election day throughout western Wisconsin as we have a storm system traversing the state northeastward, but this is going to start to pull away here for tonight, leading to some quieter weather for the midweek. Nonetheless, with low-level moisture sticking around, that cloud cover is going to remain. However, on Thursday, the next high pressure system does take control, and that is going to lead to the return of at least some sunshine throughout the day. So the temperatures are going to be seasonable in the low 50s, and on Friday, Really just a gorgeous into the work week. Quite a bit of sunshine and those temperatures going to be warming up further into the mid 50s, uh, putting us several degrees above average for this time of year. Those average highs now in the 40s. We were tracking some showers over our eastern counties, but you can see those are now pushing further off to the northeast. In its wake, we have another batch of showers across the Twin Cities. These are kind of pivoting through our northwestern counties on the lighter side of things, but this is the last of the rain. We'll start to dry things out over the next couple of hours as that cloud cover does again stick around for tonight. I do have some weather watcher rainfall reports to share with you. Melvin in Arcadia had 44 hundreds. I just check our station gauge. We have a half inch on the dot. Kevin and Doreen and Nelson had around 55 hundreds. Lastly, Sue and Hatfield giving me a report of 1.10 inches. As for those temperatures, quite a disparity here uh, for the northern half of the state. Those readings in the 40s, that's where we've had quite a few of those showers throughout the day. Further to the south, while we are socked in the clouds, it's been rather dry. Therefore, the temperatures have been allowed to warm up through the 50s. And yes, even in some cases, we've got the temperatures in the 60s. Well, here it is on satellite and radar. We have an area of low pressure smack dab over central Wisconsin. But again, this is going to be pushing further to the northeast, taking all of the rain with it. So we are going to start to dry things out towards the tail end of voting hours. I think that's really where you can probably go ahead and put that umbrella away through the rest of the night. We'll call it mainly cloudy. There could be some breaks, but given all the moisture that we've seen here today, there certainly could be some fog developing. So just keep that in mind for that morning commute. Through the day tomorrow, a lot of cloud cover out there. It does stay dry. And then that cloud cover starts to clear out at night, and we are going to see at least some sunshine during the day on Thursday. However, compared to what this forecast model is showing you, there have been hints that we are going to have some extra clouds around throughout the day. So for tonight, we will cool things down to around 39 degrees, occasional breezes from the northwest. Tomorrow, reaching up to a high temperature of 49. As for the Cooley region, similar weather overall. They'll get to enjoy a stretch of quiet conditions. Quite a bit of sunshine both Thursday and Friday. The temperature is going to be consistent in the 50s, even up to around 57 degrees there on Friday. Much the same case for us. And then over the weekend, the weather does appear to turn a bit more active. There's going to be a storm system working up from the southwest. I could bring some showers by late in the day on Saturday, more so Saturday night, especially on Sunday. The temperature is still in the 50s, however, and really no significant cool downs in sight as it looks right yeah. now. Yeah, and it's... Um it's pretty uh, steady. Yes, we're finally off of that roller coaster mm -hmm. ride we've been on. All right, thanks, Derek. Mm -hmm. Well, entertainment news is up.